Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Fuse Countdown, which is a new standalone expansion to Fuse. So you can just get this or you can combine them both for a great big mega game. This is a real time game and it does play solo, but I'm joined today by Rach. Hello. Who is going to try her best to help defuse the bombs on this ship. These are all bombs. They're going to blow up a spaceship unless we can help. Before we get started, I recommend you turn on the Klingon subtitles. Any mistakes I make will be put there, but it's real time, so we might make some and just not notice it. And if you'd like to support the channel, then there are links to Kofi and Patreon in the description, and you can do that there. I very much appreciate it. Thanks, everyone. So before we get started, because this is a real time game, we should do it a little bit differently. I won't really have time to explain a load of different things that are happening. We'll kind of just be playing it because it's a dash against you know, 10 minutes to do this thing. So we'll just go through some of the cards and how the game plays up front, and then we'll just get into it. So a lot of the rules are similar to Fuse, but there are some new things as well. What's gonna happen is we have a big bag full of dice. There's some of them. In the bag now are these split dice, so different colors, they count for both. But if you've got a card that says you can't have green on it, you can't have a split that's green and red, for example. The active player rolls four dice out of the bag. And then this is special for a two player game. Usually it's a die per player and each player has to take one die. In a two player game, we roll four dice and each player has to take two of them. So in real time, we have 10 minutes for this game. We have to decide who's getting what because our bomb cards all have different requirements on them. These are the ones particularly set up for the game. Depending on your difficulty, you'll draw so many out of a shuffled deck. But just as an example, some ones that aren't in the game. This is how many points these cards are worth. Some can be simple. So the number needs to be the same on these dice. Countdown adds an extra wrinkle in this, in that none of the dice on this card can be blue. The dice need to be these specific numbers, or this one can be a 2 or a 4, but none of them can be yellow. This is a stack, so you'll build a little tower on this space out of dice. Bottom one needs to be yellow, then green, then red, any numbers. This is a new symbol. This green border here means this has to be the first die that you place. So this has to be a 5 of any colour, and then this die has to match the colour of what you put here. This one can just be a green or a red. And in a similar way, this red border means that it needs to be the last die that you place. So it has to be a black die, but it's got to be the last one. This is one of the new types of cards. This is a wall. So this shows you a side view of what your wall will look like. So you need to build using the right colors. You need to build up a wall on this card so that eventually it will look like the picture there. There's also a ziggurat. So you'll start out with a die each on these spaces using the criteria that's on these bottom icons here. And then right in the middle, you'll put an extra one on top to complete it. And I think that's most of the stuff. So once we have taken dice in the two player game, we can bend the rules a little bit. Usually after everyone's taken their one die, you can then fill up your cards and see if anyone needs a new one. In a two player game, because we're taking two dice each, we can kind of interrupt the flow of things and take a new card. If it's full up, we can put it in our scoring pile, take a new card, which might allow us to take the remaining die a bit easier. We need to defuse all of the bombs that are in the display and the deck. So basically when there is nothing up here, but we can still have two bombs each in front of us, they were duds. We, we win. That's our goal. We lose if we run out of time because there is also a penalty. If you can't take enough dice, you've got to take spark cards, which have more basic sometimes, but annoying criteria. So this is the symbol for split dice. So this has to be two split dice on here to get rid of this. Can't win if the time runs out and there's still these out there. Can't win if the time runs out and there are these out there. And also if at the start of a round there are no dice left in this bag because they're all built up on our bomb cards, we lose that way as well. And either way, we'll get a score. We're playing on standard difficulty. So there's 21 cards that we need to diffuse. Well, minus four, because we can have the ones in front of us. And we've also got roll cards that are new to countdown. Each player gets one at the start of the game. I'm the operations engineer. Before drawing dice, name a number. You can change any rolled dice to that of that number to a wild color or number. And Rach has got the equipment technician. After rolling dice, you may change the number of any one rolled die. So it'll make it a bit easier for us to fulfill the criteria of our cards, maybe, but there's also, you know, the extra time in thinking about how you're going to use your ability best. So we've both got this ability, but only the active player, the person who has the bag and is going to be rolling the dice, gets to use their ability each round. Okay, so we've got 10 minutes on the clock. Rach is the active player. I am. And is ready. Are you ready, Rach? Here we go. Three, two, one. Fuse. Okay. I just need pairs of things. Okay, I need to do a sum. 
Okay, I could do with the pairs. I take anything at this point. This is a stack, so two of the same number and then two of the same colour on top. They don't have to match like between the pairs. So I will name a three. I can change threes to something else. I didn't roll any. Okay, so one plus one. Oh, I can only take two dice. I need a five on there, but I need small to big. Okay, go for that then. Because I can do one plus two and then I need a three to finish that off. So two dice of the same colour and a three is what I really need. Rach can change the number of a die if we really need that. Can I take the three? Yeah, Jeez, I'll take anything. the five, done that. Yeah, and then I just need any die. What are you leaving me? Whatever you like, really. So, oh, actually, the split's better because then my top die could be a yellow or a blue. Okay, fill the display range. Nope. Okay, so uh, I could do with a blue, it doesn't matter which, though. Yep, take one. Oh, I haven't got two cards, have I? Oh, bit of a bit of a sneak already. I can take the five. That's fine. You got to take two cards for the new round. Did I'll I roll that? Did you roll that? I think I rolled that. I'm also trying to take a card. Yeah, me too. Should take one. Let's take. Oh, it's another. It's a wall this time. I've got a couple of walls getting made. I think we've done a few. So I can change. Okay, do with the yellow. I think I can take a lot of things. Is that not the same as the number or the colour? Or both? It's just one of them's got to be different. Just something's mm. got to be different about the card. It's only, it's only a one pointer. Uh, so, oh, sixes. Uh, I think they're the things that I can't take. I can't take anything. Oh dear, I'm, I'm a bit worse than I thought. Because we've rolled all sixes. Oh dear. I can take a blue, I can take a yellow, I can take a one, two, three, or four. I can't take a, a die, so for every die you can't take, you've got to take a spark card. So there's an extra thing that I need to do now. A bit of a shame for me. I could have changed the number of one die. Oh yeah, I forget the abilities. Forgot. Threes. Forgot. No, I didn't roll threes again. And it was a bit late to say it. Okay, uh, I could do with a four yeah. and a one. Is that okay? okay. That's the bottom yeah. of that done, so I need a green there now. Yellow, blue. I don't think I can change the number of a dice. In a green? Do you need that? No. Okay, so that's that card finished. I can probably take anything because I'm getting a new card. Decide what you're leaving me with. A three, did you say? I can leave it. I can have anything. Yep. Okay, I can put that blue on there. I need a yellow. And help out with that card. I need a yellow. Okay, got a few down. Seven minutes left coming up to. Oh, that's too many dice. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need a yellow. No. I could take a one, two, or a six is mm -hmm. what I could do with. I need a four or a five, so I am. Can you not take anything? Struggling. No, I can't take anything. You could. F oh, that's got to be the last one, hasn't yeah. it? So you've got to take two spark cards, unfortunately. You can change the number on anything that you roll. Okay. Hmm. I need a three and a four, ideally, but you can take what you need and then we'll I'll see what left for me. And then you can take, can you take something that can have a black six? Because then I can finish this card. Yeah. Got to think about the spark card, that needs doing. But uh, for the future, this is a, quite an easy one to get. Anything, anything, then a six, then three of anything. It opens you up until Same you need that remember. six. Uh, three. Hey, it worked. <laughs> so this can be a wild colour or number if we need to. So what do you need? I can take a four or a five. Or you could do 6 minus 4 equals 2. Okay. Okay, we'll have this as a wild number and make it a 6, so it can go on top of there. Oh, now I need a 3. Oh, actually, I don't need to make it a wild anything, do we? I need a 1 or a 6 to finish That's that one off. Easy one I thought it was the last easy. die. But... Yeah. Next, the, I think the it point... was my turn. Oh, was it? Okay, then this is your ability. Change the number on anything. I can do with the 1. Yeah. Then that's finished. I can probably mm -hmm. take anything. Oof. Maybe you can change the number. Can you change the number to a four for me? Have you already changed yeah, the number? Four. There we go. Because it's quite a tough, tough card. Can you put a new card, a new card out range? Find a split that's a three. Oh, a split that's a three. Oh, yeah, that. Oh, that one. Mm, I've done it again. I've done it the wrong way. Yeah. Done the we did that in our practices. So I didn't name a number, unfortunately. I could take anything. Okay. Take that six. This hasn't come out, actually, either. 
Okay. So I can you can change the number. Yeah. So if you roll the split, then it's good for you. Oh, split. So okay. change that to a three. Change that to a three. Okay, so I could do with the blue, and then that gets rid of the spark. And then mm. I can take anything on this. Okay, fill the display up. I'm going to say threes. And so you've got these spark cars that's draining up the... So I could change that to a wild colour or a number if we need. I might can you change it to a... I don't know, do what you need. What do you need? You sure. Yeah, well, I could do with doing a two and then a one. But do you need fives? Well, I could just change it to like a green okay. and then that four, was, that four difficulty is done. Oh, you've got a six difficulty. Because oh, it's a, a big wall in it. Okay, I can put that there and get rid of that. This can have a black on it, so I'll take that. Well, I'm a bit stuck for what I need. I need a five, a two, or a six. Is it me? Oh, it's you, yeah. Oh, you can change the number, so that makes it a bit easier for us. We've got four minutes. Okay, I could do with a five. What do you need first? That. Blue. Matching colour. Yep. Okay. And a blue. There you go then. So I can do five. Can you change that to a six? Yeah. You haven't used your ability yet, have you? There we go. Oh, that's a tricky one. Oh, oh. So I need a two, but I can also take three of anything on top of here. But we're running out. We only need to do like four more cards and reach his spark. Okay. I could do with twos, but it's not yeah. vital if you them. need something. Yeah. Mm, I if need black. I have that split, but then I need a black. I can take the. Mm. I can take any dice if you need something in particular. Okay. You're taking two now. Yeah. So that can be a two. So that can be any green on top of that. Okay, I can change the number of one. Okay. What do you need? We well, need a, a black, don't you? I take the one, yeah. So a green on top of there finishes that. Anything can go on top of there. I just need one more die on it. Okay, and take new ones, because you, you want them to be easy so you can win, but also points, make prizes. You didn't say a number. You keep forgetting your power. A three, always three, but I didn't say it. Okay, so what do you, what do you need? Two I can take a, one more of anything. Two and a four. Yep, so I could do with a one there, and I can take anything on there. Don't knock the stack over as well, because you've got to start again once the stack's knocked over. Not ideal for bird's eye, is it? But it'll be okay. Right. Got two, four difficulties. I can change, change the number of something. So I could do with a red and the yellow, ideally. But what split. do you need? Yeah. Because it's going to be a two or a red and then a yellow or a oh. three. Can you do that? Oh, yeah, you need a six first on that. Perfect. We've just got to do one more card in two minutes. It seems possible. Okay, I need a green or a four. Okay, I need a green or a split, but... Um, well, I can take anything can anything a in a split. Oh, two yeah. blacks. It's going to be rough. Well, what do you need to finish your card? So I can take anything on the bottom of this one and then a green. Take the green, I'll just have to take a... I'll take a spar. Okay. I'll have to. I'll have to. Come on. It's me. That's you, yeah. Let's change the number, because we need you to get the spark done most of all. You can change our number, but why don't you just finish your six off? Now, what can I take, actually? I need a split. Oh, I need, I need a black. split, and then I can take anything. Well, this was a black. Oh, yeah. Can you change the number of something yeah. to a five? I can change it to a five, but we've done. Oh, no. Oh. You've got to do the spark, and then... Were you taking that? Yeah, if I take it, then I can put a card on it, because I think I have to take a die still. Oh. Is it me? Yeah, I need a three and a four. Ones, because you need a three, don't you? And change ones, haven't rolled ones. Okay. Um, so two, uh, a split die I haven't got. Oh no! Two plus two I mean, minus... I could have had this, but then I'd have to take a thing anyway. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Okay, we've got to just keep moving those spot. Why is that a spark each? To be pressed. Oh, maybe I've pressed it. I wonder why the music had uh -oh. stopped. Okay, it's now looking a lot less likely. Rich you. you. Change the number. Sneaky. <laughs> I wasn't really right. looking at the colour. Well. So you can change something to a three, can't you? Or a four. Can you put any of them on any of your cards? No, not unless you change okay. something. Oh, I can, I can, I can stack them on here, and then we don't have to take more sparks. Thirty seconds. Ones. 
Oh no, unlucky with these. I do need a five. Right. A five. And but a split gets rid of that. Two. I can't put a two. Okay. Uh oh. Can change your number. 14 seconds range. Just gotta do the sparks. There's three. Three and a four. And then I can take a split. And it's not the same number though. Oh no, I've got to take a spark. Oh dear. I could have re rolled it. I could have given you another number. Well, I don't but it was yeah, it's too late anyway. Too speedy. Oh well. So got we can stuck at the end. We can still write our score down. The you, you get points for time left when you win. So we've lost points on there. There are two players, and we are playing on standard difficulty. So we did complete a lot of bombs. Let's see, I've got four, seven, ten, fourteen, eighteen, twenty, three, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Twenty-six. 26. So it's like 54. And then fuse points. The fuse cards are actually only in the higher difficulties. I think we're going to do give it another go, even though we didn't do it on this difficulty. We'll do it a bit harder when these get introduced. So these are mixed into the deck and they basically mean if you've got these dice on cards that you've got out, you need to re-roll them or all players must draw a spark card. Things that mess you up a little bit more. But doing those fuse cards gets you more points. So we got no points in fuse cards because they're not in on this difficulty. So we've got 54 there. If you see our quite, I've mentioned before, we've played fuse quite a lot of times. It's been a few years since our kind of mastery of it, but our 50 points is going to come way, 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 way down in those leaderboards with a loss. But still, we gave it our best shot. So there we go. That is fuse on standard difficulty. We almost made it. Just yeah. got a bit unlucky with the sparks, I think. We're going to give it another go now. So if you'd like to see it again on a harder difficulty and see if we can win on that with these fuse cards getting in our way, then you can click the link that will be on the screen shortly. Uh, if you'd like to know what I think about fuse countdown and fuse in general, did I ever do a video about just fuse? I did a solo playthrough. Hey, you can watch that from years and years ago if you like. Uh, but yeah, there'll be first impressions about somewhere. Thank you very much for watching though and I'll see you for the next game. Bye everyone. Bye.